actually kind of disappointed. I bought this purse at Pearl Nor or at Merle Norman. Hiya. down to my sister-in-law, Matt's sister, Missy's wedding. We are headed into Dubuque today to pick up, and it probably can hear a lot of the background noise. It's really warm out, so Matt's got the window down, so I apologize if it's really windy. But uh, we are headed into Dubuque today to pick up some clothes for Cheerlin for the wedding, because she does not have anything to wear yet. And Skylar needs a shirt. And we're looking for a pair of shoes for Ireland for the wedding so and I saw a pair the other day when we were at Kmart that I think will work really good for her shoot I forgot to check her shoe size maybe she'll let her wear Converse too I'll have to call grandma and find out what size of shoe she got her because I forgot to look at Ireland shoes to see what size she's in now her grandma has bought her like her last five pairs of shoes so I actually haven't gone out and bought Ireland any shoes recently so I don't know what her shoe size is Anyway, that's where we're headed, and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, so I'm currently waiting for T to come out to get the judgment on whether or not she likes these pants because Kmart changed up their stock, and it's the only uh, place she will get her pants. <laughs> what do you think? They're nice. I like them. They're not overly big either. We're wedding shopping, so uh, I had to look fancy. She did have to look fancy. Did you get that gray shirt? No, we had to go grab it. Okay, we'll grab it. All right. So, how do they fit? I think they fit nice. They look nice. I like it. Okay, you got them. Get your shoes, get your pants, and we'll get them. Okay, guys, so we got almost everybody taken care of for the wedding. <laughs> Matt was just freaking out a minute ago. Oh, so nice. Yeah, Matt's got a new fedora on, and he picked I've out one specifically like, for the wedding. Yeah, no, I've been, like, dying because my hats all got ruined, and I hadn't had a chance to go get one. And the kids kind of destroyed my last good one, and but yeah, so we got uh, Ireland and Braxton obviously are taken care of because they're already in the wedding, except Ireland and needs shoes. And then we got Aspen, his outfit. Oh, yeah, there was an accident, a big one on the highway. Huh. Um, we got Aspen, his outfit. T's got her outfit, <coughs> minus one item that she needs yet. And then... And I got a new man, Yes, Matt got a new mankini to wear. Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, let's see, who else did we get? We got Zane's all done. Zane's done. He needs shoes. Zane yeah, don't deserve shoes. Sure. That was funny. You're not funny. He thinks he's funny. Anyway, Zane does need shoes. <laughs> and, uh, and he deserves them. And I scolded him. I'm like, I'm not even going to put that in the vlog. But he really is. That's his sense of humor. He's kidding, you guys. Um, Aspen's got a really cute little man outfit to wear. One more thing. These will be replaced this week. Oh, I'm getting those ones. Oh, my goodness. My aviators will be back. I have his sunglasses, you know, his signature sunglasses. But anyway, we're heading into, I don't know if you can see it, TJ Maxx. Um, to check for something, because I have nothing to wear to this wedding either. All right, guys, so we got more of our wedding shopping done. I found a dress, which is amazing because I have the hardest time finding dresses. And I don't have to buy any shoes because I already have sandals that I wore to Puerto Rico that'll look great with it. Matt found an awesome tie that matches the colors of my dress. Now we just got to get him pants and a shirt. And we still need shoes for Zane. And I got pants and a dress for Yes, she did. She got pants and a dress shirt. And it's really cool because the outfits that we picked out, everybody kind of coordinates and color tones together. Except for me, I'm wearing bright pink. Yeah, right. We, gray is your bright color. Yeah. And I picked up, I love the scent jupe. I wore it since I was a teenager. So I tried this. Jupe Splash. It's a summer ticket from jupe. I sprayed it on. 
and it smelled like cough medicine at first, at first, kind of. So, I, uh, now that it's on, I can't, I don't know. I and don't know. I, I'm still wishy washy on it. I don't know if I like it or not, but it doesn't smell bad. It's not as strong as normal jute, and it's not even close to the original smell, yeah, scent. Not no. even, not even like. They are two totally different scents. Yeah, it's not like the Burberry ones. We're like no, Burberry, Burberry and that Burberry lot. London and stuff. They it's small. Touch, Burberry Touch, Burberry London. They all kind of got the same, but a lot of them Burberries have tobacco leaf in them, which in some of it, like the Touch, you can really smell that in it. But this one is, I'm not sure. It smells really good. It's really, it's like a summery. It's like an eye. It reminds like me of an, an island, island scent. Smell. Yeah, it, yeah. But. A men's island scent. It's got, you know, like a, <laughs> almost like a. It's hard to tell what it is. It, it kind of smells like the the breeze that was coming off the rainforest in Puerto Rico. Kind of that. Yeah. It's kind of like an earthy, but but refreshing. It's trying to see like what scent to it. was in it because. I don't know. It's different. I mean, I can't even put my finger on what that scent is because I've really and, never smelled anything like and it. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a. Oh, I think I just got a cardboard. Cologne though. connoisseur. I, I, I always have cologne. I've always, everybody's always said, oh, that smells really good, or you know, this and that. But I'll tell you right now that colognes are different. Like this cologne might smell good on me. And ten other people wear it, and it might not smell the same. It's just each person is different the way cologne smells. Well, it's like women's perfume; it's yeah. the same way. I'll tell you though, the best, one of the best, and it's kind of crazy because of the brand it is. But there's a scent called Paris Hilton for men, and that is awesome. It is truly. We were in Sam's Club one day. And we were walking down the aisles, and some lady come up oh, yeah. to Christy, and she's like, "She asked me what I, I was wearing." I have to tell you, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? And, and I'm like, "It's, it's not husband. me. It's my husband." <laughs> it was really funny, but that scent, I have not found it for a long time. Probably just because I'm not going to the right places. But it is a a really good scent. But I'm one of them guys. I love to try new cologne, but I'm scared at the same time because. Some of the old stuff that I've wore forever, it's just, I love it. Like, Jew, a lot of people, Cool Water, I love that. Um, Armani, Aqua di Gio, that's, that is one of my favorite scents. But that's a real summery scent, too. And this, I don't know if this is so much a, it says summer ticket on it, but I don't know if it's so much a summery scent, more than it is a kind of an earthy, earthy, I don't know. I like it or not, but I'll wear it a couple times. If I don't like it, Sky will probably like it. Or my dad, they, my dad like stole jupe from me. He wears jupe. He's seventy-five, almost seventy-five years old, and he like douses himself in jupe. Dad does it in the car. And they don't oh, like he it. sprays it, and we all have to eat his cologne. Because <laughs> you know, us guys, most of us guys. Don't spray the cologne like on our person. Spray it on your shirt. On your purses? Person. Purses, she <laughs> said. You know, purses. like, uh, you know, women, they put the cologne or their perfumes on behind their ears or whatever. What? On their wrists. Not me. I, I spray it on my clothes, my hair. <laughs> yeah, hair. But, no, no, you uh, spray it in the air and walk through it and be like, you're famous. No. What? No, no, no. Tell us. How do you, how do you wear a perfume again? You, got, you, got, you gotta spray it, but you gotta walk through it like, hey. <laughs> no, she said you spray it in the air and then you do what? Walk, Walk through, through it. Like fabulous. Like you're fabulous, yes. Walk through I, I it like just, you're fabulous. Now you know. I don't know. I can sit here. Like I only sprayed one small squirt on my on myself and I can still smell it. So it's it's got that normal juice. You can still smell, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Just. That normal jupe. Jupe is very if if you're gonna go buy a cologne for somebody guys and you're thinking about buying jupe in the pink bottle it's very strong jupe is they hate when i spray jupe in the car oh <laughs> it's so bad it smells good but it's so bad when it it's first comes so, out it's so so strong yeah 
and it's but it's one of them scents where you could literally like I forgot I wore it like I'd spray it on and I'd go do something all day and walk into a gas station or something and somebody'd be like oh what you smell so good and yeah it's like, that happens to him a lot yes, by the way a lot like we'll walk into places and people will be like you smell my Mm, you smell good. What are you wearing? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> back off his scent. <laughs> That's just one of my things. Fedoras, he's got a Sunglasses and, and his cologne. cologne. That's yeah. just my, it's how I roll. Used to be Hawaiian shirts too. Yes, I did. I wore a lot. In a button up. I, I'm always in a button up shirt. If you see me in a t-shirt, that's odd. He's usually lounging around the house or cooking or something if he's wearing a yeah. t-shirt. I'm in a nice button up almost all the time. Bowling shirts, love them. Oh my god, they're so ugly. Love bowling shirts. Sideburns, bowling shirts, fedoras. Okay guys, so I had to show you this. This has been one of my projects for the day that I was working on. The other day I brought you guys up here to my room, told you I couldn't make this thing fit, but I put it up above my TV entertainment center and it fits on this wall, you guys. I'm so excited. And I have all of my favorite authors featured on the top shelf until I add to my collection and then they're not going to fit. But it still needs some work. I've got to find um, an Allen wrench so that I can get all the screws in completely to hold these shelves on. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. It's up and it looks good, I think. It's going to have to move out of the way when I go to paint my room, but it works. Yes, I have a very old TV. But it's what fits in my entertainment center right now, so it's going to have to do. Okay, guys, so I have you in the school room slash toy room right now. And you guys have seen a lot of the work I've been doing in here, trying to get things where we want it. But remember the door that led to Skylar's room that way? And the wall of storage items that I need to get put away, plus we have, like, garage sale, Goodwill stuff. Yeah, I cleared out the, the area of Goodwill stuff. And that's sitting by the front door now, ready to go to Goodwill tomorrow. The only thing I need to find a home for is this old broken TV. And my guess is I'm probably going to have to take it in a load to the dump. Because there's just nowhere to go with it. But yeah, exciting. So I'm getting some of this wall cleared out so this can become the reading area. Oh, hopefully soon. Alright guys, so I bought myself this purse. I don't know. I don't know. How long ago you think, T? Yeah, maybe almost. Yeah, probably about a year ago. But as you could see, it lost a lot of the jewels that were on it. So I bought this stuff. I bought this stuff the other day called Jewel It. And I'm going to see how it works when I was at the craft store. I actually bought this for another purpose. And I'm going to use this, I think, on the dress. Um, because I think it's supposed to... Looks like it needs to set 10 minutes. I might actually use hot glue on the dress. Because um, I don't think it's going to set as quickly as I want it to on that. But on my purse, it says it'll take about 10 minutes. So that's perfect. Because I don't want to put hot glue and stuff on the purse. Um, but anyway, the dress that I got for my sister-in-law's wedding is going to look really nice with my purse. But I'd like to fix it, and I saved the gemstones as they started falling off, and I was actually kind of disappointed. I bought this purse at, Pearl Nor or at Merle Norman, and uh, I think I paid like 60 bucks for it, and I don't normally pay that for a purse, but I really fell in love with it, and I hadn't bought myself an actual new purse. I bought a lot of used purses or had them given to me um, in years, and I went out and I bought myself this purse, and it was not even, what, probably a month, T? Later and it started falling apart. She's hanging out over there right now. Yeah, it was about a month, and it just, all the jewels started falling off. So I'm going to see if I can't fix it with what I have left of the stones, and then I'm hoping eventually I can find some replacement stones for it. I'm hoping, because I really like the purse, and the purse itself is still in really good condition, so I'm trying to save it. And I'm not paying another $60, but I really like this purse. So... That's what I'm going to work on now. I was going to do the dress for Missy's wedding, and then I realized I don't have any more white thread left, so I have to pick that up tomorrow. I had some my mom gave me, and I don't think I brought it with me, actually, from her house, but it was really tired, and as you guys saw yesterday, it was really late. So I'm going to work on the purse tonight and get that done, 
and then tomorrow I should have pretty much the rest of the dress done or I'll have like one step left and that's the easy stuff that's putting the appliques and stuff back on so I'm gonna get to this and see if I can't fix it all right guys so T is playing around on the computer as you can see in the background and our day is coming to a close actually it probably should have come to a close a few hours ago but I did get look at that I got quite a few of them replaced you can see where there's still a bunch missing but it looks a lot lot better so I'm happy I am short a bunch of the tiny ones and then those really funny shaped like I don't know like pear shaped or whatever or marquee shaped I think those there's a bunch of those missing and I need a few more of these so it won't be happening before the wedding because I have other things to get done but at least it looks a lot like it used to and it's still pretty so doesn't have to hit a goodwill pile or anything now I'm just gonna leave it to hang up to dry for the night and should be good to go I did use this julet stuff and I was gonna tell you guys about that I used this and it's all right but I don't know if this is what I would prefer to put rhinestones on with um, anytime I can hand sew them on I'd rather do that just because I know it just lasts so much longer but with these like there's nowhere to sew them plus you'd be sewing through leather and I wouldn't want to do that um, but I didn't like it's got a really slow dry time on it I'd rather have something that dried and I don't know if they carry it maybe in a faster drying formula I'd like to find something that dries within like 60 seconds maybe two minutes this has got a 10 minute dry time and some of these I've had on here for a little longer than 10 minutes and they're still they're not even close to dry I think the dry times a little bit longer so than what it says it? <laughs> well jeez, what I recommend it um I don't think so I I don't know I guess it would depend on what you're trying to do yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it works. It's dry and clear, though, so that's a plus. I do like that. So I guess if you're not looking for it... Wow, you can really hear the train in the background. I guess if you're looking for something to glue rhinestones on or something and you're not worried about it drying as quickly, this stuff would work because the few that have dried, they're actually... They're on there really good. So it does have good holding power, but it takes longer to dry. So for me, this isn't what I'd like to use. I'd like something faster, but for somebody just wanting to put jewels on and they're not caring, if it's going to take a little bit longer, it works really good. So anyway, guys, we will see you tomorrow. We have a busy week, obviously, because Missy's wedding's coming up. Yay! What is she doing? She's freaking out in the background. I'm talking to her. I shut off the camera and I'm like, really? Because I didn't know if I was going to use it or not, you guys. I didn't know if I really liked it that much. But, anyway. <laughs> what? Are you are like bombing back there, aren't you? She's like photo bombing or whatever you call it. You're I'm vlog mushroom. bombing. Mushroom. Hey, Mushroom, you're vlog bombing me. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we will see you tomorrow. We've got lots and lots to do. We have to go look at a car tomorrow. And uh, pick up a few more things for the wedding. And I need to get that dress done. So I'm going to get to bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Night. What is that? Say good night, everybody. That's it. She's being sent to bed because she's either very overtired or just being very naughty right now. <laughs> Yeah, I really wanted to play the Mario music in the background. Do 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 do. Good night, guys. <laughs>